remove outermost parenthesis so basically what this question asks is for example i'm skipping this these statements i'm just going to the example so we are given this set of string okay this is a string okay in which we have open brackets and close brackets and it is asking us to remove outermost parenthesis outermost parenthesis for example in this one basically this one keeps uh, here only basically these two are removed and in this one also or uh, this one is kept here and these two are removed okay so basically if i explain you like this for example if there's brackets like one two three four five and something like this and then something like this so basically it is asking us to remove the outermost parenthesis so how can we know that which parenthesis would be the outermost parenthesis so what we can do is for example if this is a string okay if this is a string that me then we have to divide it in it into components components which means that these brackets can be separated for example i can't separate this bracket from this bracket because it is not a different entity these three brackets are some part of some component okay or i can't remove this bracket or this bracket because of this one so again they are part of some entity so if i see a partition over here then i would see somewhere like if this is open 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 then close 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 so i can make a partition over here okay so this could be an segment and in this also oh uh, that's it there can be only two segments in this and answer for this would be somewhat like uh, this bracket would be there i will be removing this one and this one so it would be somewhat like this one would be removed this one would be removed it would be somewhat like this 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 and for this this one would be removed and this one would be removed and this one should be here okay so this is the answer for this corresponding string okay but let's check this one it's uh okay i will just paste it over here okay it's small so basically if i'm i draw it again it would be open open close open close close or uh, open open close close okay so this is my string which is given in this example this is my string perfect now if i want to divide it into components just i uh, i said previously we have to divide these into components and after that we will delete the outermost brackets so we can see open open close open close close so what i see is that i can divide these brackets over here okay these two components could be there and the answer to this would be i would be deleting this component uh, this entity and this entity so it would be this this and these and for this i would be deleting this i would be deleting this and then this would be this so there would be three brackets and let's check out if this is the solution or not yeah three brackets open close open close open close perfect so now we got the question right okay so now what do you have to do <clears throat> sorry for that yeah so basically now how can how can we do that okay guys i will tell you this best trick of solving bracket questions what do you want is you want a pointer not a pointer just a variable val uh, count okay and what does this special count do okay this is just a variable whenever there is an opening back bracket you increase the value of count okay and whenever there is a closing bracket you decrease the value of count and you will notice whenever the count goes zero that means that is a separate component let's check it out if it's working or not this logic in this one basically there is an open bracket so count would be plus 1 then again an open bracket count would be plus 2 it is increasing by 1 then again open bracket plus 3 then a closing bracket 
uh, it become plus 2 then a closing bracket it becomes plus 1 then again a closing bracket it becomes 0 and here I can see the separating line okay I said whenever we see a 0 we can separate it and again you see a, uh, you see a open bracket then plus 1 again open plus 2 now closing bracket so plus 1 decreased by 1 and again closing bracket decreased by 1 it becomes 0 so I can see that whenever it turns 0 I can separate that component of brackets okay <clears throat> let's check in this one also okay so first the count is plus 1 okay then again uh, it will increase plus 2 then it will decrease it will become plus 1 then again opening bracket plus 2 then it will again decrease because of closing bracket plus 1 and it will again decrease it will become 0 okay so whenever there is a 0 we can see there is a separating line so now you got the logic basically what is happening in this uh, concept is that we have we have taken a count variable and whenever we have brackets brackets work in pair there is a open bracket there is a closing bracket so if we add a plus one for opening bracket when we will uh, decrease the value for the closing bracket it will become uh, zero at some point of time so that is the logic behind this key why we are getting the separate uh, component from these okay so basically now we understand understood that basically we just have to use a for loop we will go through the entire string and whenever it is turning zero we will remove that bracket and also at this point if it was one uh, the point at which it was one we will again remove it okay uh, that bracket okay if I will show you again using this example okay there is a bracket open 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 close 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 open open close close okay so now I am seeing that we are using a for loop okay right now my count is 0 okay my count is 0 initially okay I will write it in a better way count equals to 0 okay count is 0 now what I want my count will keep on increasing when there is an opening bracket and it will keep on decreasing when there is a closing bracket okay and basically at this point this was plus 1 okay count becomes plus 1 when there is an opening bracket and uh, using the previous example we saw we have to delete this bracket we have to remove this component okay so at plus 1 we are deleting it okay then basically what do we have to do is it will again increase plus 2 again increase plus 3 then my uh, then it will become plus 2 because it is decreasing it will become plus 1 and here it becomes 0 so when it becomes 0 then I have to remove this bracket also okay now again it becomes plus 1 so again I have to delete this and then it will become um, 2 then 1 and again 0 we have to delete this so we saw whenever it becomes 1 we have to delete it and whenever it becomes 0 we have to delete it okay but at the same time we have to keep in mind that at this point it doesn't deletes so for that what can I do mm, uh, what condition should I put on my count so that it gives me a difference between this plus one and this one so mm, let's see let's try to code and let's see what happens okay so basically now jumping to the code I sh told you we have to keep a count variable count zero now we have to use a for loop and i equals to zero i should be less than s dot size i plus plus and then basically what do we have to do is we are iterating through it and one more thing i'm doing is string answer equals to i'm making a string variable because in last we have to return this string return answer okay now I will be filling this answer okay so basically what I am gonna do is for all these elements I am gonna fill them in the answer and I won't be filling these brackets in the answer so in short uh, rather than deleting from a string 
I'm not I'm making another string and I'm not putting these brackets over there so that gives same as deleting that uh, these two these entities from that string so what I can do now is I will travel so I said if count equals to equals to oh okay if s of i is equal to equal to an opening bracket an opening it is equal to an opening bracket then I will say count plus plus if it's an opening bracket then I said count should increase okay count should increase and if it's a closing bracket then it should decrease oh okay else if s of i is equal to equal to closing bracket count should decrease okay count will decrease and then there were two more conditions key if it is oh pa, 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 if count is greater than one then answer dot push answer equals to answer plus s of i if it's not equal to okay if it's not equal to and if count is equal to equal to for count equals to equals to zero to i'm 100 percent sure that i don't want to put that okay answer equals to answer plus um if it is not equal to zero if it is equal to zero then i will see, i can just say continue over here okay i'm not putting uh, anything okay this is done now only one condition is missing so what can i do for that again let's go to our whiteboard hmm so plus one plus two plus three then plus two plus one basically what i want is like first have to check for plus one then have to check for zero and again i have to check for plus one then have to check for zero this is my thing okay so i need to switch it between two values okay so i would say something like um, so you are guys you are getting now what's the problem we are facing basically we have to differentiate differentiate between this plus one and this plus one so for that what we have we can do oh count plus plus okay count minus minus okay this till this much is it's okay um how can i delete that segment i want to delete this plus one so for that plus one plus two plus three okay so if i dry run it it will delete this i i'm going through this it will delete this it will not put it over there then plus two then plus three then this this then again it's plus one guys got it basically it should just be greater than one then only we are putting that now for example we are not putting one and we are not putting zero but we are putting this one now we are putting this one so basically if after closing it becomes zero then we have to delete it mm. so 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 what can i do over here mm. okay and let me check about it the count is triple or double equals to zero just a second opening 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 closing closing Achha, first it's basically i have to check for plus one then zero then plus one for zero okay so i have to check um if i end flag equals to i will put it bool flag equals to two so first i have to check for true 
then have to check for false then have to check for true then have to check for false oh, so if count is equal to equal to one and and flag equals to equals to true then I will say oh, flag equals to false and continue and similarly if count equals to equals to zero flag equals to false flag equals to true and continue so basically what happened is like for true we can say we are checking for one and false we can say we are checking for zero so i'm saying ki if it is true and the count is one okay the count is one it is over here then we have to delete it so i'm saying continue okay and if it is and i'm making it false because now we have to check for zero perfect got it nice and if count is equal to equal to zero and and flag equals to false basically now what we are saying that we have to uh, check for zero here this zero okay so if it's count is zero and flag equals to equals to false perfect which it should be flag equals to true and continue and otherwise what we will do is answer plus equals to s of i okay let's check if it gives the right answer or not so basically this was the toggle situation who guys accept it perfect so basically this was the thing that made this question a little bit tricky your the that concept of count was simple that co uh, concept of count was simple and it is very uh, really common in all the parenthesis questions that opening bracket and closing bracket and we take a variable temp for that and we keep increasing and decreasing and that would give us another component of that that was just one concept and second concept was like you have to check like first we have to uh, first like we are traversing in an array so for the component we will have a opening bracket and a closing bracket okay so we have to check that when we are reaching this opening bracket after that we have to check only for the closing bracket okay so for that we were using the that toggle situation and that toggle i did through this flag perfect let's try to submit it Woo. faster than 75.74 percent perfect guys so this was our solution to remove outermost parenthesis perfect